We're at our um, non-target mosquito control treatment site. So we're interested in trying to find out when we're treating for mosquitoes, what other kinds of organisms may be impacted by the pesticide that we use. And this, we're at this site the morning after the spray event. The, the planes came over, the plane came over last night between 10 and 11 o'clock and sprayed for the mosquitoes. And we're back now collecting samples from our traps to find out um, what insects besides mosquitoes were killed by that spray. I try to be really careful about not drawing conclusions okay. too early. I was surprised when we went through two hours after the spray that I, I kind of thought maybe I'd see lots of dead things. On the, we have traps called drop traps, which are just sort of like nets that are set on the ground so when things are dropped. We didn't see a lot last night. We saw more today, but we didn't see an overwhelming amount. It wasn't like the traps were filled with dead things that had dropped out of the sky. And part of our experiment is we um, put butterflies into cages and suspended them in the marshes and in the mangrove to see what that impact was. As we walked through last night, I wouldn't have been surprised to see a cage full of dead butterflies, and I didn't see that. I, didn't, I saw some dead butterflies, but I think every cage we took out had, had live butterflies in it too. So we don't know the numbers, I don't want to draw any conclusions. Um, uh, but there wasn't as much non-target impact as I thought I might see. So this is just the first day after the spray event and we'll be following this particular place for seven more days. We'll then come back a week later and then we'll come back two weeks later. So we really can't tell yet what, a, what all happened. And even when we get all that data, I know this is hard for people to understand because I think science is gonna give us this black and white answer. We have to be careful about how we interpret our results. Um, we put butterflies in cages and hung them in the canopy because that's the way we can measure them. Butterflies don't live in cages. They don't hang in, in cages in the canopy. And so what happened from the spray, we have to be careful about interpreting how much of it is a reflection of what would happen naturally and how much of it could be an artifact of the way we're trying to get the measurements.